In January of this year, Butler football hired new coach Mike Uremovich, and there is a distinct new energy in the team. I'm just fired up. Um, being a fifth year guy, I want, I'm the leader of this team, um, and I want to be seen as a leader to other guys. It's a blank slate. It's a, it's a new start. It's a new opportunity for guys to prove themselves if they haven't or build on what they have proven. Frankly, I wasn't sure about the opportunity, but once I came on my in-person interview on campus and spent some time with the people in the department, got a chance to see the school, it really fit all the, the criteria I wanted to be head coach again, and I felt we could win here. Despite poor records in the last few seasons, the team is confident in themselves going forward. Just knowing that we have a chip on our shoulder, knowing that uh, a lot of those games last year could have been stuff that we could have won, and just things that if we had the discipline, we know we could have won those games. So we just know that if we make those necessary changes, this program can change a lot and could have a lot of success. Well, right now, we're just trying to get an identity of being disciplined and tough and smart and, and not beating ourselves and being a well-coached football team. And there's something, something we said for being on the ground floor and turn the program around. I think that the new staff has sort of just taken us to a new level of competing against each other and we're just driven and everybody's locked in because we're all set on a common goal of being the best football team we possibly can. I think Coach Yu and his staff have done an unbelievable job of, of constantly uh, putting guys in a competitive environment, whether it be something as small as a push-up contest or as big as a one-on-one -on -one drill or something seven-on-seven -seven based in practice where uh, guys have a measuring stick and they're constantly told where they're at. It's been seven practices now. We've given everybody on the team equal reps. I told them that that's what we're going to do through the scrimmage. But now we've had seven practices to evaluate our players. So now, from here on out, we'll start to pull reps from the guys that aren't ready to play and give them to the guys that are. This offseason, Coach Uramovich has made an emphasis on discipline within this team. I think everybody around the country has typically the same goals and are doing the same things. So what separates your progress from another team is um, what your strategy is to get the most out of each session that you do. It's about having a great attitude every day, giving great effort every day, being disciplined. And those three things don't require any talent. Those are just things you can control and make decisions on a daily basis if you want to do it. You don't want to be pinned as the kid who is late. You don't want to be pinned as the kid who can't follow directions. Um, so that alone has allowed our guys, or honestly forced our guys, to, to tighten things up a little bit. Uh, every little thing uh, comes back to discipline, uh, whether it's what you're doing on the field, how you can get yourself off the field. Um, it all stems around discipline. Um, we always say it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Um, so redefining that how early on uh, has hopefully helped us and will continue to help us as we go forward in the season. You know, it's easy to come out the first three days, have that excitement, that energy. But can you maintain that throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole spring practice, and that takes discipline, and of course, on the field, you know, discipline wins games. If you're not motivated on a daily basis, you're not going to make it in college football. You can't afford to play somebody that's not disciplined, because you're putting the other 109 guys at risk of you you lack of discipline. As the head coach, he recognizes the importance of flexibility and trust. You have to be flexible with things that you can fix, and you got to take the time to learn how to navigate within the institution. I tell our coaches all the time, I don't care what the players can't do. Anybody can, my wife could say what they can't do. Tell me what they can do. What can they do well? And then we have to coach to that. All right, you're turning two into the block. All right, get that inside foot. Our defensive coordinator and I have worked together for a long time, and I trust him 100%. So I don't even go in there. It's really nice uh, having that comfortability with, uh, with another coach and being able to um, you know, communicate the way we do. I, it's kind of a unique situation. It's not, it's, that's not always the case. Coach Yu understands the importance of education for the student athletes. Unfortunately, in intercollegiate athletics, especially with the Division I football and Division I basketball, our focus has gotten off education. My goal is for all of these guys to graduate. That's the number one goal we have in our program, to graduate every student athlete that walks in the door. I mean, we're looking for the Butler guy, the guy that cares highly about academics. He wants to be a competitor in academically, and he wants to be a competitor football-wise. Football has shown me how important it is uh, to be driven academically and try to set yourself up for life after football, because you can only play this game for so long. Sometimes we overlook that because we're so involved in the nuances of the name, image, and likeness deals, or the cost of attendance, and comparing and contrasting, where 
ultimately it's about the student athlete and them getting an education and being able to transition into the real world. And athletics is a great opportunity to be able to do that. So if you go to a university like this, that um, this is a great academic university, you, you can't um, be lazy on, on that aspect. We can do both. You can have a good football program and be serious about academics. And I've been at multiple places that have done that, and I know you can do it here. While coaching is an important aspect of the team, the players have created a unique bond in the locker room. And if you ask any coach, they're going to say a player-led team is better than a coach-led team. And that's what we're getting to, I think, day by day. I think Butler is a hard place to come to and not just feel welcomed and loved by our team, especially. Like once you're part of this team, it's a real brotherhood, and you really can't experience that until you visit and you hang out with some of the guys. I knew it was a very academic school. I knew I was going to be around a group of guys that were looking to, you know, make the difference in a program and turn a program around. But what blew me away, uh, I didn't really expect to see the the type of community that I had, like the amount of people that want to reach out and help. Football aside. The players had high praises for Coach Uremovich's character. I think that Coach Yu's just a blue-collar, hard-working guy. Um, and I think that a lot of his like characters and it's his values pass on to us as a team. I think he's a real stand-up guy. I don't think he ever sugarcoats anything. I think he's authentic. Everything he tells you is the truth. He'll let you know you had a good day, let you know you had a bad day. But then he also doesn't like, you know, hold it against you. You know, you sit there, you go through it, you make the adjustments, then you move on. Well, I've known Coach U a long time. So, you know, we've we grew up together. We we uh, went to junior high together. He's he's a great guy to work with. Great guy to work for. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to to keep this going, and uh, you know, really do something special here at Butler. Coach U's definitely a Butler guy. I think he really has all the core values that Butler looks for. Um, he represents the Butler way. Um, and he's a great leader in this football team. Thank you.